Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Tuesday, January 25th, 2011, and I'm Darko. Welcome to part two of this eugenics bulletin. Uh, new listeners, please visit my website, www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. I just posted uh, a new poll uh, basically asking, you know, what is the most important issue in your life right now? Um, you have different options as far as the economy and unemployment and that, or your health, or the uncertain future, and uh, there's one more. But uh, you can go in there and check that out. Uh, I think you get two votes per each poll. But uh, anyways, we're going to keep moving here. We finished up with uh, La Nina is a danger to the economic recovery, and he was talking about how a natural weather pattern known as La Nina uh, is responsible for, uh, you know, actually uh, messing with the global food supply. So, but uh, there's different there's different uh, things like this right here, uh, you know, these eco-fascists that will come out with stuff like this to promote genetically modified food. So, you know, genetically modified food, if you didn't know, has been uh, in slowly incorporated into our food supply, but it really started to spike in the late 90s. Um, it started in the early 90s, and right now we have about 70% of our food supply is genetically modified uh, organisms. So it's not good. And uh, they just started doing it um, as far, you know, I'm talking about corporations that push it and uh, Monsanto and companies like that, these uh, uh, global agri companies. And, uh, you know, they never really said why, but it's like here now they're using this, which is a natural occurrence, this, you know, these, uh, these, uh, this food supply shortage. And then, of course, you have, you know, weather modification, which is being carried out by corporations, universities, and governments globally, which is affecting the food supply as well. Uh, I don't know if Russia was affected by that, uh, but we will because wheat prices will continue to go up this year because of that uh, scorching heat that they re, uh, had to go through last year. So it says GM food needed to avert global crisis, says government advisor. Genetically modified crops could help prevent a future global hunger crisis, the government's chief sci uh, scientific advisor said. Said Professor Sir John Beddington said there was no one, uh, no one, quote, silver bullet to the enormously serious problem of feeding the world in the future and the face of problems such as, quote, climate change population growth too many people and energy shortages so this is the same rhetoric if you go down here you can definitely uh read it the, uh, the link will be posted but it's all problem reaction solution guys right if so if they're what if they're modifying the weather and um they're causing food shortages well then what's their solution is to offer this uh this stupid gmo food that'll help uh sterilize you Feds forced to stop planting GMOs in all refuge in 12 northeast states. A federal lawsuit followed by several conservation and food safety groups has led to a ban on any further planting of genetically modified organisms in all U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service refuge in uh, 12 northeastern states. It says, and more lawsuits are reportedly on the way to have GMO planting cease in as many as 75 other wildlife refuges across the country as well. Now this is a crazy story. Are Prozac popping fish present in the St. Lawrence River? The fish swimming through the waterways around the big cities could be subjected to doses of humans' happy hormones, a new study suggests. Significant quantities of antidepressants are finding their way into the water around Montreal and affecting the fish's tissue and brain activity, Dr. Sebastian Savu, the study's lead researcher, said. Antidepressants found in Montreal fish, this is what we were just talking about, and um, I'm going to keep moving here. Thousands protest in Berlin over a dioxin scandal. Uh, the Germans were also protesting GMO food yesterday, but they were also uh, uh, protesting against this dioxin scandal. said uh, thousands of German protesters marched in Berlin on Saturday to demand a change in farming methods and, talking about factory farming, and vent their anger at a food scandal in which cancer-causing dioxin was found in some eggs, poultry, and pork. That company uh, will be... Uh, sued or something's going to happen to it because basically they were uh, they are found they were basically uh, going to be charged with criminal uh, negligence. So uh, it says U.S. government launches pharmaceutical division. The U.S. government has decided to enter the pharmaceutical business. Apparently, the drug companies aren't coming up with breakthrough drugs quickly enough. Now the government plans to spend tax payer dollars conducting research on drugs, which will be turned over to big pharma. So wow, that's about as corporatist you, as you can get. 
Federal centers hope to spur drug research. Federal officials concerned about the slowing pace of the new drugs coming out of the pharmaceutical industry have decided to start a billion-dollar government drug development center. Oh, see, it's the government's job to help carry out research for pharmaceutical corporations. Wow, dude. Oh, man. So there you go, guys. Uh, there you go. Your tax dollars being paid to kill you. Well, it makes sense because a lot of the chemicals that they're spraying on you is funded by your tax dollars, and it's also being uh, privately funded. But uh, just think about it, yeah. So you got fluoride in your water. You're paying to get uh, fluoridated and get, uh, uh, you know, uh, killed off that way slowly. And then uh, they're spraying you in the skies with the chemtrails. And like I said, all those nanoparticles and all those chemicals are being par partially funded by you. So... Uh, finally, chop powder, alternate nostrils, say taxpayer-funded user guide to drugs. Taxpayers are funding a guide to snorting cocaine and other party drugs under the guise of AIDS prevention, right? That's how they uh, promote all the uh, uh, Planned Parenthood and uh, condoms and, and uh, the pills and abortions and all that, right, to avoid uh, HIV. And uh, it says a four-page booklet titled Routes of Administration details ways to protect the nose when snorting powered drugs using common house and office utensils. So we're talking about eugenics. Let's talk about vaccinations, right? Because those, according to Bill Gates, are the best way to help solve the problem of overpopulation. So it says feds checking post-vaccine seizures in young kids. Government officials are investigating an apparent increase in fever-related seizures in young children after they got a flu shot. The U.S. Uh, FDA on Thursday said there have been 36 confirmed reports of seizures this flu season in children ages six through uh, six months through two years. The seizures occurred within one day after they were vaccinated with flu zone, the only flu shot recommended in the United States for infants and very young children. Tens or ten of the children were hospitalized, but all recovered. So, oh, the FDA has said it's investigating to see if there's any connection between the vaccine and the seizures or if something else caused the convulsions. The agency said recommendations for using the vaccine have not changed, nor have there been any change in flu vaccine guidance. Why? Of course not, because the FDA is the head of the eugenics, like the World Death Organization or the WHO. That's their job. Save the Children launches massive vaccination campaign. See? There you go. The Save the Children on Monday launched its biggest ever campaign to prevent the needless deaths of one uh, million children in developing world from both pneumonia and diarrhea. The No Child Born to Die campaign says that 7 million more children could be saved through simple changes to boost rural health care in poor countries. Oh, so check this out. The No Child Born to Die campaign hopes G8 countries will pledge the money at a special G8 conference in a few months' time to be held in the UK. Okay, the next article is uh, EU agency reviews Sanofi's Multac backs Jevtana. EU regulators start review of Multac amid liver concerns, says product information should advise close monitoring, and Sanofi's prostate cancer drug wins EU backing. says uh, the European Medicines Agency said on Friday was starting a review of the safety of Sanofi's Aventis heart drug Multac after two cases of liver failure in patients on the drug. And next up, Cancer Vaccine Acceleration Fund provides 450000 to uh, for clinical grade, what is that, Hitanol? in trials so so i heard about an aids vaccine um i've read about a cocaine vaccine an alcoholic vaccine so there's going to be vaccines for everything and right now they're voluntarily voluntary but the problem is is that there could be uh, uh legislation in the future that will make it mandatory uh, just as mandatory as it is to go to school you have to get your vaccinations uh, to go to work, you're going to have to get your vaccinations just to get a job. It says here, girl 12 at risk of rickets because mom smothered her with factor 50. Said uh, living by the beach is one of the sunniest parts of the country. Lisa Attrell made sure her daughter wore plenty of uh, high factor sunscreen when she played outside. But her good intentions left 12-year-old Tyler suffering from a vitamin deficiency linked to bone disease and rickets. The factor 50 sunscreen deprived her, oh, look at this, of essential vitamin D, which is produced by the body as a reaction to sunlight to the skin. So, Next up, drug use for male pattern baldness makes men impotent, grows boobs. Man found dead in house being fumigated. Man was found dead in San Jose Monday afternoon in a temporarily unoccupied house that was being fumigated. And, uh, well, what were, they uh, what were they using? It was sodium fluoride. 
Next up, it's official. College students learn next to nothing. It says here, a new study suggests not hardly if the goal of earning a four-year college degree is to actually learn something. The report, based on a book academically adrift, limited learning on college campuses found that after two years of college, 45% of students learn little to nothing. After four years, 36% of students learned almost nothing. And uh, so there you go. Oh, so look at this, depression on the rise in U.S. colleges. Maybe they're depressed because they're not learning anything and they're paying a lot of money. A new research shows that severe mental illness is now more common among college students in the United States than it was a decade ago. Teachers blamed for record number of children being prescribed chemical kosh. Teachers have been blamed for the record number of children prescribed uh, drugs such as Ritalin. There are now 650,000 8 to 13 year olds on drugs or its equivalents. This marks an astonishing rise up from 92,097, wow, and just 9,000 in 1990, according to NH figures. Wow, dude. Oh, man, that is a wicked number. Study reveals top 10 violence-inducing prescription drugs, and then you have Pristic, an antidepressant that affects serotonin and uh, associated with violence, and then you have Effexor, and this is associated with vi uh, violence as well and uh, venaflexin, uh, fluvexamine, uh, luvox, uh, halcyon, uh, or uh, triazolum, then you have stratera, or atomexatine, uh, mefaquin, alarium, I think that's a pretty popular one, amphetamines, this general class of ADHD drug is 9.6 times more likely to be associated with violence than other drugs, and Paxil, Paxil is 10 times more likely to be associated with violence than any other drug, and uh, Prozac, a popular antidepressant, is 10.9 times more likely to be associated with violence and other drugs. And then Chantix, an anti-smoking drug, is associated with And I covered this already, but might as well chain teens' images, shock Dutch images of mentally youth. Uh, chained to a wall have shocked the people in the Netherlands with the government defending the physical restraint. So see, the government is all for it. See, that's the future, guys. That is the future. Oh, you're talking about conspiracy theories. You're anti-government. Ooh, you have a. They just uh, put that in the psycho in the psychiatric diagnostic manual. You're you have anti-authority disorder. Mm, you we better lock you up and throw away the key and get you on some drugs. Florida kids ticked off by shift to less supervision, more computer time. So there you go. See, I told you, it has nothing to do with learning. It's about indoctrination, indoctrinating and teaching them to uh, respect authority to not be individuals or leaders. New York City School Chancellor's solution to overcrowding, birth control. I'm not kidding. Women should be able to take abortion drugs at home. Women uh, could be given the right to have abortions at home after campaigners mounted a legal challenge against 40-year-old laws. Pennsylvania docks abortions left us sterile near death. Doctor charged with killing seven babies born alive and with dead uh, death of 41-year-old refugee. And you can go through here and read the article. It talks about him storing it in with uh, storing the little body parts of the babies and with uh, f uh, staff lunches in the refrigerator. But just a horrible story. And then it basically says, oh, you know, poor old girl. She tried. She was just trying to find a place to go or she couldn't get haggled by people that didn't like people who killed babies. Those damn uh, pro-lifers. Abortion clinic patients report brutal treatment. Uh, next up is midwives struggled to deliver home births. Women's rights in Eastern Europe have been put into the spotlight as Hungarian midwives faces five years in prison for assisting home births. And in India, they were saying that they needed them. Surrogacy, the brave new world of making babies. Um, that's uh, a new phenomenon. UK court let surrogate mother keep her baby. Millions taking statins needlessly. It's a uh, planned opolis. Cities already being tested in South. Is here the U-City model. Uh, standard will be followed in future development. Interestingly, but perhaps not surprisingly, Bill Gates of Microsoft involved with technological development of South Korea's uh, youth cities. So Microsoft is involved and IBM. Uh, China to create largest mega city in the world with 42 million people. So there you go, guys. Go check that out. Planopolis videos. Uh, commission to recommend lifting military ban on women in combat. And then Quinn will sign civil unions, Medicaid reform laws. Human trafficking soars in Northern Ireland, a thousand people a week leaving Ireland, uh, according to the, for the jobs, Irish Prime Minister resigns. Strange claim the sun rose two days early in Greenland, and why? North magnetic pole moving towards Russia, that's my theory. Uh, Tatooian's twin sons coming to a planet near you, 
And then check this out. NASA telescope finds planets thrive around twin stars. This is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you.